So I'm gone for literally two weeks, and the downward spiral for the Toronto Raptors had already begun. They dropped five straight, and the only game I was able to watch, I saw Bargnani go down against the Los Angeles Lakers. And let me just tell you, I could not hold down my breakfast when the Toronto Raptors lost once again in overtime. Of course, Kevin Garnett for the Boston Celtics surpassed the milestone, while the Toronto Raptors newbie, Sebastian Telfair, was getting some technicals and showing his emotions. So my presence had to definitely be felt on Friday night when the Toronto Raptors squeaked together a victory against the woeful Charlotte Bobcats, the laughing stock of the NBA. But a win is a win, and I'll take it. It looks like Rudy Gay is shaking off his slump on offense. And on defense, well, let's just take a moment to reflect that massive swat against Bismack Biombo. I mean, even the players were feeling Rudy Gay's intensity as he hit a three, and then Allen Anderson popped up off the bench and did his own dance sequence for the audience to see, while Gerald Henderson, Kemba Walker, and Ben Gordon were trying to make a run for a victory. It was the rebounding of my main man, Amir Johnson, that provided the Raptors with life on second chance opportunities. I won't stop singing the praises of my main man, Amir Johnson, as he became the first Raptor since Joey Dorsey, remember him, to grab 21 rebounds, which is a career high. Up next for the Toronto Raptors, they played the world champion Miami Heat, who are on, if you can believe this, a 21 game win streak. 22 ties it when Houston had a 22 game win streak a couple years ago. Until next time from inside the Purple Room, I'm Pyle and I'm back and I will see you again. Take care.